Hello, my name is Andra Shende. My name is Yoda Zaka. This is our green one video for the Dignet Hardware Design Contest 2016. We are currently studying Computer Science Engineering at the University of Debrecen in Hungary. Our supervisor is Istvan Oni. In this video, we would like to show you a project called the Pathfinder Zero. First, we show you what hardware tools we used. After, we will show you the graphical user interface we created. And finally, we will present you a short demo. We chose the cyber board as the main segment for our project. We built in six ultrasonic rangefinder in different angles, a three axis digital compass, a Bluetooth interface, an RFID reader, and a Wi Fi interface. We supply the system from the 7.2 volt battery. We convert this voltage to a stable 5 volt with this DC DC converter. We installed Ubuntu Linux to the Zybo. We defined several rewards into the FPGA part of the Zing processor, then configured the kernel to recognize the, all the peripherals. We developed the software with NetBeans across SSH remote compile. This means that we can run any programs on the Zybo without any physical interaction with it. On the, so the software has written in C++ and it's, it's a multi-threaded application. The robot software is communicating with the PC application through the Wi-Fi interface with our specified protocol system. The GUI was written in C Sharp. It's starting with a login window where we can choose between user and guest. After the login, we get an administration panel with some tiles. At this point, we can choose from sensor stream, video stream, manual control, map builder, route tracking and global settings. The most important one is the map builder, where we can load a map by drag and drop a simple image file to the window. We can set the robot start position on the map. When the app processes the image, it slices it into smaller rectangles, we call them nodes. On the right panel we can set the size of the nodes and the size of the robot. We can also set this, uh, that one node is what size on the reality. We can modify the map with a drawing tool. With this we can put extra objects on it. In the end we can upload the map into the robot. In the route tracking tile, we can see how the robot sees the map. We can add the goal position here for the robot. The robot AI calculates the shortest route and set it, send it back to the GUI. After we add the goal position, the robot calculates the shortest route and walks through it till it reaches its destination. It will avoid the barriers we drew, and if the robot hits something, it sends a message to the GUI and it will be shown on the map. Thank you for your attention. We are looking forward to seeing you at the corner. Bye-bye.